Hi, I'm Jeremy Wanye, and today I want to talk to you and show you how easy it is to provision highly available Microsoft SQL Server environments with ERA. So let's go ahead and uh, provision a new database. I'm going to go ahead and uh, provision a cluster database. I'm going to select Microsoft SQL Server as the database engine. And I'm going to choose to create a new database environment on an, an existing highly available Microsoft failover cluster using always on availability groups. In this example, we will be creating a new database schema and auto attaching the necessary storage for the primary database as well as all the replicas they are going to be sitting on the different nodes and the, and the SQL Server cluster. I'll choose a size which is going to allow me to quickly make sure that I have enough space for that database schema to support the size in question. So in this case, let's do a two terabyte database environment. You may notice that uh, that ERA is not asking for a lot of the inherent details that one would typically have to know about infrastructure, like uh, the number of drives and spindles and uh, um, you know uh, file system layouts and configurations. All of those are automatically factored in and applied as a part of best practices. I'll select a set of uh, tuning parameters that will help to initialize that SQL Server environment. Select my database collation. And then I'll be able, uh, be able to choose whether I want to provision that, uh, that database to an existing AG or to create a new AG. Now there's one that already exists. It's already replicated across all three servers in that cluster. But here I'm going to create a new one. So we're going to call this uh, AG2. And I'm going to choose just to replicate it between these first two uh, servers in that SQL Server cluster. So these are going to be asynchronous commits and I'll do automatic failover between the two. And finally I'll select a data protection scheme. I think of this as just a, a backup policy, a snapshot based backup policy around that database provisioning. So I'll select a backup scheme that automatically protects my database for seven days with daily snapshots. I'll schedule the time of day for that, maybe two o'clock in the morning, and I'll click provision. Now that's going to kick off a workflow where we will automatically see, uh, we'll see that database go through a provisioning process where we'll, we'll be connecting to that existing set of servers. We'll be creating a new availability group um, based on the requirements. We'll be joining the replicas to the availability group and then attaching all the necessary storage from the Nutanix platform to support those new databases based on our best practices. Thank you very much.